I'm calling you from jail because I, I, I got in an accident. Austin, I killed Austin. He's dead. Yeah, yeah. I was drinking. I was drinking. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm sorry I let you down. I just... I just... Um, this is my... This is my phone call to tell you where I am. I'm gonna walk right over there to the deputy. This would be a felony drunk driving. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, Dad. came to tell me you had been in a horrible car accident and you didn't make it. I keep thinking you will call or come blustering in the kitchen, but you don't and you won't ever again. Mom and Dad, I know that to say I have disappointed you is an understatement. 
I am not the daughter you raised. I am so sorry for everything that I am putting you through. I have made you into the parents of a killer. You are the world's most wonderful mom and dad, and I'm so sorry my actions will not reflect that. Mr. and Mrs. Miller, I'm so sorry that I took your baby from you. If there were a chance to take it all back, I would. I know that the words I'm sorry can't help, but I need to take this chance and tell you that I am so sorry. I have ruined so many lives by my ridiculous decision to drink and drive. I felt almost as if it were real. I was in a moment where I was just a normal high school kid before, being a part of the every 15 minutes, and then as soon as the recording started rolling of Becca making the 911 call, everything just kind of became real for me. When Victoria, the drunk driver, got out of her vehicle and came over to me in tears and was apologizing, was very surreal, that was probably the hardest part. I just killed this person in front of me and I almost wanted to run because it was like, I don't want to face the consequences of what I have just done. I remember getting into the back of the cop car and it was like silent in there and I was all by myself. I didn't want to be alone because I did not want to reflect on what I had just done. Thankfully, this was a mock accident where these kids get to go back to class and back to their families. But what if this were real? If this were real, we would be here because someone made a bad choice to either drink and drive, ride with someone who had been drinking, or even be an innocent person who was hit by a drunk driver. If this were real, we would be here with somebody's body in this casket instead of it being empty. If this were real, the tears wouldn't stop after this assembly and family members and friends would be devastated and forever changed. Being a part of the Every 15 Minutes kind of made me realize that it can happen to anyone and it happens to me. Mm -hmm.